اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ دس از ایور گرین اسلامک سینٹر ان سان اوز کیلیفورنیا ٹو نائٹ وی ول بی ریسائٹنگ دی 15th تراوی اف دس رمضان اینڈ ان دی تراوی ٹو نائٹ وی ول بی ریسائٹنگ ٹو سوراز دی فرسٹ سورا از سورۃ الانبیاء and the second one is surah al hajj so inshallah we will learn some of the meanings and explanation of some of these verses the surah al anbiya is it means the prophets so there is a description of several uh, prophets in this surah so inshallah we will follow some of that the surah starts with a'udhu billahi minash shaitan ir rajeem bismillah ir rahman ir rahim اللہ سبحانہ و تعالیٰ سے اق طرب الناس حساب ہم دی ٹائم آف دی اکاؤنٹیبلٹی آف دی پیپل ہیز ریچڈ نیئر وہم فی غفلت معردون وائل دے آر ان دیئر اگنورنس ان ہیڈ لیسنیس آر ٹرننگ اوے اللہ سے از ما یاتی ہم من ذکر من ربہم سو nothing as a reminder has come to them from their lord muhdasin anything new illas tamu who accept they listen to it wa hum yalabun while they are busy in their playing around <coughs> allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is also in the ayat number 5 is reminding the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam that what people are talking about this quran and about you and then allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is also answering some of those things bal qalu but they say those will the uh, mushrikeen and kuffar ad ghasu ahlamun what this prophet this prophet is talking are just uh, some useless dreams that he is seeing and then he is talking about them they also say bal iftaraahu but no he has made this as a lie then some other people say bal huwa shairun actually he is a poet some other other people are saying then okay fal yaatina bi ayatin then he should bring a sign to us kama ursilal awwalun as the previous prophets had shown the signs of allah subhanahu wa taala then allah subhanahu wa taala is answering them in one of the ayats and that's the ayat number 26 and 25 wa ma arsalna min qablika o prophet we have not sent any mir rasulin messenger before you illa nuhi ilaihi except that we reveal to him annahu la ilaha that there is no one as worthy of worshiping illa ana except myself allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fa buduni so worship me allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says wa qalu takhazar rahman walada they are also saying that a rahman has adopted a son has taken a son or a child subhanahu bihi glorified bal ibadun mukramun but actually these are the servants which are honored of allah subhanahu wa taala then in ayat number 30 allah subhanahu wa taala is mentioning something which is worth pondering and that is actually the way <coughs> presently in this time of uh, scientific development how we look at the creation of the heavens and the earth and all the stars and galaxies allah subhanahu wa taala says awalam yara alladhina kafaru have those who have done the kufr not pondered or seen anna samawati wal arda kanata then heavens and earth kanata radqa radqa they were one unit one entity fa fataqna huma then we separated them we split them apart and basically this is what nowadays you believe in the big bang theory 
Vajalna minal ma'e and Allah says that everything that is there hayya alive which has a life in it we created that by the water Vajalna minal ma'e we have made from water or starting by the water Kulla shayin hayyin everything or anything that is alive physically Afala yu'minun, don't they think about that, don't they, they believe about these things? Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is also mentioning a very unique thing is that, and that's a very scientific phenomena, that uh, why the mountains are high in one place and the valleys are deep in the other place of the earth, and this process is repeating throughout the earth. Allah says, وَجَعَلْنَا فِي الْعَرْضِ رَوَاسِيَا and we have placed on the earth these heavy big mountains antamida bihim lest it shake with you so if you think of that that our earth is surrounded by other heavenly objects other planets other stars and, and sun and they all are exerting different pressures from different different pull actually gravitational pulls from different sides so to balance that, because these different pulls are more or less in one side than the other side, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has placed mountains on one side to increase the weight on that side. On some other side, He has decreased the weight of the, that section of the earth by making the valleys and removing the, the mountains. So this kind of design is so that earth does not shake with you. That's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saying. Wajalna fiha fijajan subulan. And we have made in this earth wide roads. La lahum yahtadun. So they may be finding their ways. Wajalna sama asakafam mahfuza. And we have made the heaven, the sky, as a canopy which is guarded, which is safe. Vahuman ayatiha mu'aridun, but they are of his signs are turning away. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala further says, Vahuvaladi khalaqa layla wa nahara. He is the one who has created the night and the day. Vashamsa wal qamara and the sun and the moon. Kullun fi falaki yas bahun. Each of them are floating in their own orbits. This is also a phenomena that was not known in the early days that everything in the heavenly objects is floating and going around the orbits. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has explained all these. Kullu nafsin da'iqatul maut. Then Allah says every life, everyone that has a life is going to taste the death. وَنَبْلُوكُمْ بِالشَّرِّ وَالْخَيْرِ And we test you with the good and with the difficulty. Fitna is a test. But the end is that you all are going to come back to us. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions this detailed story about Ibrahim alayhi salam. Ibrahim min qab. This is ayat number 51. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that before we had given Ibrahim his wisdom. Wakunna bihi alimin, and we were aware of all this knowledgeable. So Ibrahim alayhi salam, in his young age, he saw that his uh, nation, his people, were worshiping idols and stars. He didn't like that, so he said to his father and his people, "Is qala li abihi wa qawmihi." He said to his father and his people. What are these images, idols, false gods? Antum laha akifun that you are devoted to. So their answer was, Kalu wajadna aba ana. They said we have found our fathers were doing that. Four fathers laha to these abedin we are worshiping too. So his reply was, Kala lakad kuntum antum wa aba ukum fi dalalim mubin. He said, Indeed, you and your forefathers, they all have been in an open misguide. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala further quotes the conversation between two, 
between his people and Ibrahim alayhi salam. So they said to him, Qalu ajirtana bil haqqi, O Ibrahim, have you come to us with some truth? Or am anta min al-la'ibin, or are you just playing around with us? So his reply was that, Qala bar rabbukum rabbu samawati wal ard. He said, indeed, your Lord is the Lord of the heavens and the earth. Alladhi fatarahunna, he is the one, he has created all these. Wana ala zalikum minash shahideen, and I am upon that one of the witnesses. And then he further said, Watallahi la akidanna aslamakum. He said, by Allah, indeed I am going to do a plotting against these idols of yours. Bada an tuvallu mudbirin, after that you have gone turn, turning your backs. So one day when the, these people were not in the temple where all these idols were placed, he went in there. And Allah says, فَجَعَلَهُمْ جُزَازًا إِلَّا كَبِيرًا He broke all of them into pieces except the big one. كَبِيرًا لَهُمْ The bigger of them, the biggest of the idol. لَا لَهُمْ إِلَيْهِ يَرْجِعُونَ So maybe they will turn to him for help. So when they came back, Ibrahim left the, the temple and they saw that all these uh, idols were broken into pieces. قَالُوا مَنْ فَعَلَىٰ هَذَا بِعَالِهَتِنَا So they said, who has done this to our gods? إِنَّهُ لَمِنَ الظَّالِمِينَ Indeed, he is one of those who are wrongdoers. So somebody said something. قَالُوا سَمِعْنَا فَتَنْ They said, we have heard a young man. يَذْكُرُهُمْ He was talking about these idols. يُقَالُوا لَهُ إِبْرَاهِيمُ He is called as Ibrahim. So they said, Kalu Fatu Bihi, they said, bring him here. Allah Ayun in Nasi in front of the eyes of the people. La Lahum Yashhadun, so maybe they will testify. So they went and grabbed Ibrahim alayhi salam, brought him in the temple. And they said, Kalu Aanta Fa'alta. He said, O Ibrahim, have you done this to our gods, to our Aliha? So Ibrahim alayhi salam said, he, he didn't say much, but he said, Qala bal fa'ala hu. He said that he, this big, the big kabir of whom, the big one of them has done this thing. He is the one who broke them. Hada, this one. Fas aluhum. So go and ask these broken pieces who did this to them. In kanu yang tiqun, if they can talk to you. So for a minute they realized, <coughs> these people, that yeah, we are the wrong ones. فَرَجَعُوا إِلَىٰ أَنفُسِهِمْ So they turned to their own selves, into, into their hearts. فَقَالُوا And they said to themselves, إِنَّكُمْ أَنْتُمُ الظَّالِمُونَ Yes, you are the ones, which means we are the ones who are wrongdoers. But, shaitan took over the next minute. ثُمَّ نُكِسُوا عَلَىٰ رُعُوسِهِمْ Then they shook off through their heads. No, no, no. And then they said to, to him, لَقَدْ عَلِمْتَ O Ibrahim, you know إِنَّكُمْ إِنْ كَانُوا يَنْتِقُونَ That these are the ones that don't, don't speak. مَا هَوْلَا يَنْتِقُونَ Ayat number 65 These are the ones they don't talk. So Ibrahim a.s. said to them قَالَ أَفَتَعَبُدُونَ مِن دُونِ اللَّهِ He said, are you worshipping other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? مَا لَا يَنْفَغُكُمْ Those who do not benefit you, shayan, anything at all. وَلَا يَدُرُّكُمْ Or they are not going to be harmful to you. اُفِّلْ لَكُمْ Uff is very small word, you know, something very shameful about. وَلِمَا تَعَبُدُونَ مِن دُونِ اللَّهِ And those idols that you are worshipping other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, don't you have any understanding? So what they did? They said, let's burn him. Let's throw him in the fire and burn him. They said, burn him down, Ibrahim. And help our gods. So they want to help the gods now. If you are the ones who want to do. So they threw him in a fire and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's command came. قُلْنَا We said, يَا نَارُ Oh, the fire. 
Kuni bardam wa salaman ala Ibrahim become cool and calm with mercy upon Ibrahim alayhi salam. Allah says, wa aradu bihi kaidan, so they had plotted a plan against him. Fajalna humul akhsarin, so we made them the ones who were losers. So this is the story of Ibrahim alayhi salam. It's a very famous story. Then uh, we will go to the <clears throat> ayat number 103 of Surah Al-Anbiya. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is mentioning about how the day of judgment will start and there's many many places but this is a very unique <clears throat> way of describing the beginning of the day of judgment or end of the day of uh, uh, end of the world that we as we know it. Allah says, Yawma, that day, when the uh, end of the world will reach, not with Samai, we will fold, we will wrap up the skies. Katayis sijil lil kutub, just like a writer, they used to write on the scroll long sheets of paper before. After writing down something, he rolls it, he scrolls up. He says, that's how we will scroll up <coughs> this sky. Kama badana awwala khalqin nu'iduhu As we have created it first time, we will repeat, we will recreate it. Wadan alayna, this is a promise upon us. Inna kunna fa'ilin, we are the ones who are going to do it. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying about Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in ayat number 108. In وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ O Prophet, we have not sent you except as a rahma, as a mercy for all the worlds. لِلْعَالَمِينَ قُلْ إِنَّمَا يُوْهَا إِلَيَّ Say, only it is revealed to me أَنَّمَا إِلَاهُكُمْ إِلَاهُمْ وَاحِدْ That your ilah, your God is one unique God. فَحَلْ أَنْتُمْ مُسْلِمُونَ Are you going to be submitting to him? So that reaches to the end of Surah Al-Anbiya. After that we will be <coughs> reading uh, in Tarawih Surah Al-Hajj. So inshallah we will look at some of the verses of Surah Al-Hajj. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, يَا أَيُّهَا الْعَوْزُ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ يَا أَيُّهَا النَّاسُ اتَّقُوا O the mankind have taqwa, have fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. رَبَّكُمْ your Lord. Inna zalzalata sa'ati shay'un azim, The hour of the earthquake And this is when the day of judgment before it starts This whole world will be destroyed So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says it will start with a, with a zalzala Which is a heavy heavy uh, earthquake It will be shay'un azim, A very great thing it will be and how there are some of the signs Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying that Yawma tarawnaha You will do, you will see if you are there Tazhalu kullu murudi'atin amma ardaat A nursing mother will forget her nursing child It will be so difficult day that she will ignore the child who will, who will be hungry and a pregnant woman will drop her pregnancy. And you, if you see it, the people, they will look like they are intoxicated, they are drunk. Allah says, They are not intoxicated. Indeed, the punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is very severe. Then Allah says, وَمِنَ النَّاسِ مَنْ يُجَادِلُ فِي اللَّهِ بِغَيْرِ إِلْمٍ And among the people are those who dispute, argue about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala بِغَيْرِ ilm without any knowledge they have. They have. وَيَتَّبِعُ كُلَّ شَيْطَانِ مَرِيد And they just follow every shaitan who is the rejected one. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, كُتِبَ alayhi It has been ordained. Annahu man tawallahu So whosoever will turn to him to make as a friend of him Fa annahu yudillahu The shaitan will definitely mislead and misguide him Wa yahdihi ila azab sair And he will guide him to a very severe burning punishment 
then allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the next ayat is describing the process of the creation of the mankind <clears throat> this ayat at that time when there was no scientific way to look inside the womb of a mother is describing in such a details that is exactly fits what we know today in the human um, uh, development allah says ya ayyuhan nas o the mankind in kuntum fi raibin if you are in a doubt minal ba'si that you will be raised again on the day of judgment so think about this fa inna khalaqnakum min turabin so indeed we have created you starting from the clay number 1 thumma min nutfatin then from an sperm drop thumma min alaqatin so when this drop uh, met with the egg what happened it became a clot of blood alaqa means a clot of blood thumma min mudghatin then it slowly turned into a flesh piece of flesh a small mukhallaqatin wa ghayr mukhallaqatin what happens is that some of this uh, small piece of flesh it starts turning into a child and sometimes the pregnancy drops and it goes away allah that is the, these two words mukhallaqa the takhleeq has been done which means he is going to be now a child ghayr mukhallaqatin which means it's not going to be there anymore li nubayyana lakum so we may make it clear to you then allah says wa nuqirru fil arhami ma nasha then we keep we hold in the wombs of the the mother whom so ever we want ila ajalin musammin for a fixed time fixed duration thumma nukhrijukum tifla then we bring you out as a child thumma litabluhu wa shuddakum then you reach to your full age of a strong time jawan or or healthy person but allah says wa minkum man yatawaffa but some of you die sooner wa minkum may yuraddu and some of you are turned to an age ila arzalil umri which is very very weak age which is very very old age and the sign of that age is likaila ya'lama min ba'd ilmin shay'a after knowing after having the knowledge you become unknowledgeable you become like you don't know anything you lack lose all your memory in alzheimer and all kind of diseases allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saying that wa tara al-arda hamidatan so this is also the example of the earth which is laying there dry and barren fa iza anzalna alayhi al-ma ahtazat wa rabat so we send water upon it and it start uh, shaking and moving and it start growing am batat min kull zawjin bahij all different kinds of vegetation allah says zalika bi anna allah huwa al haqq this is what allah is the truth wa annahu yuhyi al mauta and the one that he gives the life and he gives the death wa annahu ala he will bring he says the the mauta is bring back to the life which means the earth which is dead becomes alive and just like the man was not even there to exist and become an alive person wa annahu ala kulli shay'in qadir and indeed allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has authority and power of everything wa anna saata now listening to all this allah says wa anna saata atiyatul la raib fiha indeed that hour of judgment is coming there is no doubt in that wa anna allah yabasu man fil qubur and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going back bring back to life those who are dead in the graves <clears throat> then uh, we will continue in the next ayat number 26 allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is uh, describing how the hajj was started because the name of the surah is surah al hajj Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala says that wais bawana li Ibrahim makan al bayti we assigned Ibrahim to build the the bait the house of the Kaaba Allah tushrik bi shay'a that do not make do any shirk in this wa tahhir bayti baytiya and keep my house the Kaaba clean lit ta'ifina for those people who will be doing the tawaf 
wal qa'imina and those who will be standing in the prayer war rukai sujood and making ruku and sajda wa azzin fin nas bil hajji make the announcement proclamation to the people that come for hajj ya tu kare jalan they will come to you walking on their feet wa ala kulli damirin on and on the camel she camel sugar be who will be going up and down the fajjin amir the valleys and the, the mountains liyashhadu manafi'a lahum so you may witness the benefits for them wa yaskuru smallah fi ayyam ma'lumat and and make mentioning this ism of allah the zikr of allah in some counted days which are the days of hajj allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is also mentioning that when all the rituals of the hajj are done and you have finished your sacrifice fummal yaqdu tafasahum wal yufu nuzurahum then when you have done all the rituals and you have done the sacrifice wal yatawafu bil baitil atiq this is actually the the um, tawaful wida when hujjaj are done everything from mina they go one afternoon just to one tawaf one seventh tawaf and of the kaaba and they immediately come back the same time so allah subhanahu wa taala is talking about that one here <clears throat> then allah subhanahu wa taala mentioned that wal kullin wal kulli ummatin ja'alna mansakan for each nation we have made the rituals of how they sacrifice their animals for the sake of allah liyadkuru sma allah ala ma razaqahum then mention the name of allah that's how the slaughtering is done mention the name of allah upon what he has provided you mim bahimatil an'ami of the cattle fa ilahukum ilahun wahid so your lord is one lord aslimu submit to him allah subhanahu wa ta'ala further says that when you do the sacrifice for the sake of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and this is mostly about the sacrifice which is done at the hajj time <clears throat> allah says lan yanal allah luhu muha their meat their flesh does not reach allah when you sacrifice wala dimauha their blood doesn't reach to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala walakin yanaluhu taqwa but what reaches is your taqwa your righteousness your devotion at the time of the hajj allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says kadalika sakharaha lakum that's how we have subjected them to you litukabbiru allah so you mention the name of allah allahu akbar ala ma hadakum upon what he has guided you وبشر المحسنين and give good news to those who are good kind people then uh, we will go to ayat number 48 allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says wa yastajiluna ka bil azab these people who are rejecting the quran and the message <coughs> allah says they are trying to hasten the azab allah says wala yukhlif allah wa'dahu allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not break or do against his promise Then he says something that we need to ponder that <clears throat> what days we count here like few hours 10 hours 12 hours a day 14 hours Allah says wa inna yawman inda rabbika a day with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with your lord ka alfi sanatin is as a thousand years mimma ta'udun that you count in your calendar <clears throat> then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that وَهُوَ الَّذِي أَحْيَاكُمْ He is the one who has given you life. ثُمَّ يُمِيتُكُمْ Then you will die. ثُمَّ يُحْيِيكُمْ Then you will be raised again, given life again. إِنَّ الْإِنسَانَ لَكَفُورِ Indeed, insan is very ungrateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, I will, couple more ayats I will do of the surah Al-Hajj. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Allah yahkum bainakum yawm al-qiyamati so before that is Allah says wa in jadaluka if these people dispute with you argue with you say faqulillahu alamu bima ta'malun say to them Allah only knows what you have been doing and as a result of that <coughs> your dispute with me is something but allah is the one yahkumu bainakum he will judge between you and us 
يوم القيامة on the day of judgment فيما كنتم فيه تختلفون in all those things that you have been disputing and differing now this one last ayat Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is mentioning in ayat number 73 a very good example that the people who worship <coughs> these false idols false gods false deities statues they they bow down in front of all these many many nations are still doing that not only people at that time were doing that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving an example ya ayyuhan nas o oh the mankind <coughs> he is addressing all the mankind duriba masalun an example is being mentioned to you fastamiu lahu so pay attention and listen to that inna alladhina tad'una min dunillahi indeed those false deities that you call you invoke min dunillahi other than allah subhanahu wa ta'ala lan yakhluqu zubaban they can never even create or build one fly one little fly they cannot create wala wajtamau lahu even if all of them get together all the false deities in every temple get together they cannot even create one single fly allah says the situation is even worse than that when people bring their offering in front of you and they place as as the nazar to you in front of you if a fly comes and picks up a little thing off the plate or of that tray allah says wa in yaslubuhum az-zubab shay'an if a little thing or anything this fly comes like if some sweets are there a little fly comes it takes little bite and flies away allah says la yastanqizuhu minhu they cannot even take it back from that fly dawfa talibu wal matloob what the weakness is that in the one who is invoking the one who is seeking the one who is being sought so people and the idols both are so helpless and so zayif they are so weak allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving the example that they just should ponder about these things and they should worship only allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so as i said in the beginning tonight we will be reciting complete surah al anbiya and complete surah al hajj may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq to understand the quran and act upon it sadaqallahu alazim